Well guys, I've spent way too much money on ship horns. If they have like a Hornholics Anonymous, I probably should check into that because we have thousands of dollars in ship horns now and uh, I'm not too sure why. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a fun one today. As you can tell by the title, we have something new and it should be here any minute. All right guys, so before we jump into this, let's go ahead and do a like challenge. These seem to be relatively easy for you. The most requested videos in the comments of the last video was you should hook that horn up to your truck and go drive around town with it and let it rip. I would say that's by far the most commented thing. Um, Let's do a like challenge. If we can get 10,000 likes, we will hook this horn up to the Duramax permanently. And maybe we'll do a even like a drive-by, like alarm clock, SpongeBob alarm clock video and uh, see what happens in that. I don't really want to do that, but it'd be funny. Yeah, 10,000 or more likes. I know you guys can do it. If you guys want to go more than 10,000, make the video even more fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know you guys can do it. Maybe you can't. We'll see. Um, let's make it happen. Before I say too much, let's go ahead and get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Joseph is here. I wanted to go follow him. We're going to be redoing some of his decals here in a second. My brother is on his way here also. Those are all uh, all the passes to get in the neighborhood, so he collects them. So you're at 450 subs and you have no videos. Soon. He's posting soon, so go give him a follow. Go give him a sub. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking a little horny there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it looks so good. Dude, look how big that thing is. Yeah, that's what she said. It is a massive ship horn. Now, how they how they ship this thing, they kind of break it down a little bit so it's not as big looking. Just like by looking at it right here. But uh, it, it is. It's and it's it's cast aluminum, so it's not super heavy like the other one. The other one. The other one I have, um, obviously, is ran by a motor. This one's not ran by a motor. This one's ran by just air. So this one's easier to mount up in a vehicle. You know, like my truck or that truck golf or car. golf cart, this golf cart. Um, yeah, so this one's just off compressed air. I don't need, like, any crazy power, no three-phase power to run it. It's more of a, it's got a diaphragm that goes right here, which I am hoping is on this thing somewhere. See, so, like, that right there, the train horn going. So the diaphragm was to go to this, bolt to that. I'm hoping it's in that belt, which, okay. is, the most, which is the most uh, expensive part of this thing is the diaphragm. Nah. What? Just the trumpet. Nothing's in there? No. Wait, really? Nothing, just the trumpet. Oh shit, that ain't good. Oh, maybe it's down here? No, it's just the trumpet. As you guys seen, my brother rolled up on the golf cart. He had a... Uh, ship horn shaped item with him um he picked it up at the p.o box here locally and believe it or not this was my backup plan just in case the other horn did not work um so a lot of you guys are saying oh he's not gonna do this video um he ain't gonna get it working this and that not a lot of you guys i'd say some people did a lot of you guys had faith in me and so i appreciate you guys sticking around but I was so stressed because I wanted to, I wanted that video to happen because I told you guys it would if it hit 15,000 likes and it did really fast. So um, I was I immediately went to research and research and research, finding backup plans just in case that horn wouldn't function. So what I wanted to do was find a horn that produced the same tone, but had that was easier to make work. Like um, you didn't have to have 250 volts, you didn't have to have three phase power to run it, stuff like that, right? Well. We ended up getting the other one working, obviously. You guys seen me take delivery. My brother showed up at the golf cart with it. Um, it didn't have everything. It didn't have this piece, which is the power chamber. This part, and this is a Kallenberg S203. If you guys want to look for one to buy. 
I'll tell you right now, they're very, very expensive. Even used like this one. This one was actually from India. They're made in, in Wisconsin though, Kallenberg. Um, so that piece, the gray part, showed up about 12 days it took to ship from India. And uh, this piece, we didn't know where it was. Um, it was delayed like another week or so. So the top piece took like three weeks to get here. And uh, it's a very expensive piece. This uh, It's all solid bronze. This is, where your di this is your diaphragm. It's what's called your power chamber. The diaphragm's inside of it. Your air inlet right there. So what makes this horn different than the other one is not really the sound. The sound's very, very similar. They both produce a very deep very very deep tone they're both designed for ships over 700 feet in length um, but one uses an electric motor to spin a piston or spin a crank and it shoots a piston up and down at a high rate sends it about a one inch column of air through the horn this one uses compressed air so you got to hook 150 to 200 psi to it blast it through that diaphragm and that's what produces that deep tone like this <laughs> That's what this horn sounds like, okay? Very similar to the other one, um, which sounds like this. Very, very close in like in tone and also like the decibel reading. They're both like high 140 decibel, which is unbelievably loud. Yes, train horns are ridiculously loud, like high pitched ear piercing loud, right? They don't compare to this. They may be somewhere on a decibel reader. You feel these, like these are like so low that you just feel like the vibrations of it. You feel, it's, if you haven't heard one up close, I suggest you give it a shot. I, I think it'd be sick to put it in my Duramax. It's not small. It is about four feet, a little over four feet long. Um, that power chamber is like nine inches across. And it still weighs, I would say, at least 60, 70 pounds. So it's not as, it's not quite as heavy as the other one, of course, but it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need a, it doesn't have a 160 pound motor that runs it. So it's more than plenty. It is not small. It is not small. How can I compare it? Um, the opening on this thing is like 20, 23 inches from like the diameter. We'll do a half inch airline into it. Dual Vier compressors. Um, we want to be able to make at least 200 PSI because I'm probably running around 170-ish something to this horn. 12 volt solenoid valve run into the cab of the truck and uh, we'll be able to use it just like a normal horn. Um, of course, hey, horns are meant to scare people, I guess, or get people's attention. And uh, I think this will do that. You want to, If you want to get one of these horns on your vehicle and set it up properly, you're, you're going you're gonna to be at least in it I would say at least two or three thousand um, dollars, maybe even more. They're not cheap. Okay, you can buy a nice little train horn set up for five, six hundred, three to five hundred bucks, something like that, three to seven hundred bucks, and you're gonna be super loud. But are you gonna have a, a, a huge ship horn? Probably not. <laughs> you're not. You're not. Okay. All right, guys. So I know this wasn't like a super action-packed video. It wasn't me blasting this horn off in the neighborhood, but it was a video I wanted to make to show you guys. I wasn't playing around. I wasn't doing these like challenges just to see if I could make it happen. I, I am a man of my word. I, I bought it because I wanted to make sure I had a backup plan just in case the other one failed, like I said. Because I'm a man of my word, I wanted to make that video happen. Luckily, we made the other one work and it was unbelievably loud. So now we have two very, very large ship horns that produce super low ear shattering sound. Well, now that we have them, we got to use them more, right? So. Thank you guys so much for watching. All you new subscribers, welcome. I am super excited. We're gonna have to do a lot of fun videos with this thing. I'm not just gonna let it sit. I spent too much money on it, so might as well make some content with it. And uh, I know you guys are gonna love it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Yeah.